Let's now begin this bulletin by bringing you the COVID-19 updates from Europe. The coronavirus pandemic swept across Europe and wreaked havoc. And now it seems that the infection rate is finally showing some signs of slowing down. Many countries, including Italy, Spain and France, are mulling a step-by-step -step repeal of their respective nationwide lockdowns. Spain recorded its lowest daily death toll in almost a month. The new numbers have given hope to the country's overwhelmed health services. Not just the death toll, the infection rate also seems to be falling. In the last 24 hours, infection rose by 2.4%. Hospitalization rates are also following a similar trajectory, but the government is not ready to lift the lockdown just yet. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez plans to extend the lockdown until May 9th, but children will be permitted outside from homes from April 27th as part of a gradual easing of restrictions. France, on the other hand, reported similar numbers. There were only 395 new deaths in the last 24 hours, and the country's total death toll is now 300 shy of topping 20,000. The number of people in ICUs also fell for the 11th consecutive day. Prime Minister Edouard Philippe said that the situation was improving in France, but warned that the country was on the cusp of an economic crisis. Italy, meanwhile, reported its second lowest daily death toll in a month. The infection rate also fell to 1.7%. The current lockdown is scheduled to be lifted in Italy on May 4th, and the government is mulling a stage-by-stage -stage exit from the containment measures. This crisis has exposed the frailty of the European Union, with many questioning how effective the organization has been in helping member states. On Thursday, the EU leaders will be holding a video conference. The economic revival plan will be on top of the agenda. Worst hit nations like Italy have been calling for pooled debt instruments called Corona bonds, but wealthier EU members like Germany have rejected this idea. A lockdown exit strategy will also be discussed by the leaders. Switzerland, Denmark and Finland have started reopening their schools and shops. And Germany has also declared the virus under control. Starting today, multiple shops will start opening in the country.